One wonders sometimes why in most Catholic institutions there is a cross in almost every one of the rooms. Well, truly, I believe it originates in the very life of the person of St. Francis of Assisi. I would like to just read a passage from St. Bonaventure's Major Life of St. Francis. Christ himself was Francis's only guide during all this time. And now in his goodness, he intervened once more with the sweet influence of his grace. Francis left the town one day to meditate out of doors. And as he was passing by the church of San Damiano, which was threatening to collapse with age, he felt urged to go in and pray. There as he knelt in prayer before a painted image of the crucified, he felt greatly comforted in spirit, and his eyes were full of tears as he gazed at the cross. Then, all of a sudden, he heard a voice coming from the cross and telling him three times, Francis, go and repair my house. You see, it is all falling down. Francis was alone in the church, and he was terrified at the sound of the voice. But the power of its message penetrated his heart, and he went into an ecstasy. Eventually, he came back to himself and prepared to obey the command he had received. He was quite willing to devote himself entirely to repairing the ruined church of San Damiano. Although the message really referred to the universal church, which Christ won for himself at the price of his own blood, as the Holy Spirit afterwards made him realize, and he himself explained to the friars. It is so evident that in our Catholic tradition, all of us are called to gaze upon the cross, as did St. Francis, and to listen to the direction that the Lord in our life gives to us. We pray in a very special way that our students and our faculty and staff, as they are in those rooms where these crosses are placed, will also take a moment in the course of their activities to listen to the voice of the crucified, leading them to do what God wants you to do in your life. And so at this time, as we now bless these crosses, which will be placed in the classrooms of our new science building, we ask also that the Lord lead us as a community as we begin this new school year to look upon that cross and to hear the voice go forth. Rebuild not only my church, but the lives of your students, the lives of your peers, the life of this community, the life of this region, our world. God, our Heavenly Father, we pray this day that as we hold up this sign of your Son, who you truly gave to us as a sign of your intense and unending love, we pray that this image may become a part of us as it became a part of St. Francis of Assisi, that it would also become a part of the life of each and every one of our students, of all of our faculty, staff, and our visitors. Bless these crosses today, crafted out of the love of our workmen here at this university. We are so pleased that they have used their gifts and their talents so well to allow us to lift our eyes, to open our hearts, and to hear better your command of love. And so, Lord, we ask you to bless these crosses today. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, amen.